In lesson 7 on grade 12 Euclidean geometry, we are going to have a look at the theorem of Pythagoras. The similarity theorem can be used to prove the theorem of Pythagoras. And we are going to have a look at that now, and we're going to break it up into three steps. Our first step will be to prove that AB squared is equal to AP times AC. For this, we are going to prove that triangle ABC is similar to triangle ABP. In these two triangles, once again, we can start off with A being a common angle. Next up, we can say that angle B, which is 90 degrees, will be the same as angle APB, which is also 90, and this was given. And then lastly, we can then accept that angle C will be the same size as angle a, B, P. And our reason interior angles of the triangle. Now we can make the conclusion that triangle A, B, C is similar to triangle A, P, B and our reason angle, angle, angle. And from here we now need to find the correct pairs of ratios. So we will have A, B over A, P is equal to A, C over AB, our reason are similar triangles, and when we now cross multiply, I will have AB squared is equal to AC times AP. Next, we are going to prove that BC squared is equal to PC times AC, and we're going to do that by proving that triangle ABC is now this time similar to triangle PBC. And our proof will look very similar to the one in number one. Firstly, this time we have common angle C. Angle B is our 90 degree angle and that is the same as angle BPC and that was given to us. And lastly, we are going to say that angle A is equal to angle P, B, C. And now we can make our conclusion that triangle C, B, A is similar to triangle C, P, B and my reason angle, angle, angle. From here, once again, we need to identify the correct pairs of ratios. So we will have C, B over C, P equals C, A over C, B and my reason, my similar triangles. And when I now cross multiply, I'll have CB squared is equal to CA times CP. So we've now proven number one and two, and our last step is to now prove the theorem of Pythagoras. If we have a look at what we need to prove for the theorem of Pythagoras, you need to realize that AB squared is what we did in number one and BC squared is what we did in number two. So if I start with my right hand side AB squared plus BC squared I can now substitute AB squared with AP times AC and I can substitute BC squared with PC times AC. If we now focus on the algebra, you will see that you have two terms and that AC is a common factor of these two terms. So I'm going to take out AC as a common factor and then I'll be left with AP in my first term and PC in my second term. If we now look at the picture, you will see that AP plus PC is actually the same as the whole side AC. So in my next step I'm going to change that bracket to AC and then I have AC times AC which is AC squared. And that means I've now proven the theorem of Pythagoras because I've proven that AC squared is the same as AB squared plus BC squared.